Oh, Sarge and I are down here at this little old dog park here at the apartments. It's not little, you know, it's a nice sized dog park for all to enjoy. Now, I must have this conversation because I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Now, you own a dog. You had enough energy to bring him down here and all and let him play. Kudos on that. Good job. But why on earth can you not pick up his poo? It is not difficult to pick up poo. You know, is it nasty? Kind of. Why, sure. You know, but that's, that's a part of owning a dog. You know, and having them out in the community dog park is that you have to pick up the poo. Or in the apartment complex, again, you have to pick up some poo if you own a dog. Now, with that being said, you know, when you know you got to go pick up the poo, you know, maybe, maybe you should get a chihuahua. And so it just has little bitty poo. But then some of y'all can't even do that. Can't even pick up the little poo. No. Like right here. Now that's just a little, little bitty baby poo. Sarge, get out the poo. This is why we have the problem. And I have an issue with people leaving their poo behind. Because, you know, poo can transfer a lot of different things. A lot of different diseases. It can transfer, you know, roundworms, hookworms, whipworms. You name it. And then you had the dog owner that didn't put much, I obviously didn't put much thought in it because I see this every day, twice a day when I come down here with my dog. You know, you own a dog the size of an elephant, I guess, you know, and Lord forbid, even though you walked him down here and you played with him, you pick up his prehistoric size, ginormous, you know, size poo, you know, because that would be too hard. Too hard to pick up that giant poo. God darn. Just poo everywhere. It never fails. Now y'all, it's not hard. They they supply bags, you know, right over there. There's a little stain that's got these bags in it. Got a little trash can down below it. You know what I'm saying? Just drop it on down in there. Not hard. So me and Sarge, I guess we're gonna go through here picking up the poo. Because I can't play with my dog with poo everywhere and him stepping in and wanting to sniff it and see what's been here besides him. It's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? So people put some thought in it. When you get a dog and you have to go to dog parks or you have to have to be out in community settings of other in other situations. You know, remember, take bags with you. You know what I'm saying? Or go to the little poo stand and grab you a bag. And it's real simple. You know, just get on in here. Just get busy with it. Just, you know, kind of fluff it and push it over and bam, lamb. You got poo in a bag. You know, then you just take it. Take that bag. You know, take your hand back through. And look, poo and bag. And life is good for all if you can do that, huh, Sarge? We don't want to look at other people's poo. Yeah. Lord. And then we just gonna walk out of here. It's not far. You know, they got another poo one inside of a little poo, poo stand with a trash thing over there around the corner. You know, so you got one inside, got one outside, and you just gotta walk over and Flip that bad boy right there in that trash can. I saw it. Not hard, people. Not hard. So you dog owners that just, I guess, want to, you know, sport around with your dog and and uh, maybe you try to look cool and all that, or maybe he's busy on the phone with somebody. Says, "Hey, man, you need to pick up your poo." Oh, my dog didn't poo. I didn't see him poo. He couldn't have pooed because I didn't see him poo. He pooed. Go pick it up. Jesus. Not hard. Whew. Love y'all. Around the world back to the moon back. Huh, Sarge. Poor, poor people.
i tell you what,